the San Jose Declaration on Sustainable Hydropower is of enormous importance. You know, hydro uh, acquired a bit of a bad name. I mean, people became very negative about dams. Not all dams were built in the right places. Not all of them were built uh, uh, safely, to be frank. Uh, but in building them, I think very often uh, the, you know, the con constructors, mostly governments, often fail to take into account the very significant environmental consequences of damming rivers. Uh, so, but, but it can be done sustainably. There are many, way, many techniques, uh, you know, with, with so many, so many opportunities to have su sustainable hydro. I mean, you don't even need to be on a river. You can have off-river hydro, particularly off-river pumped hydro. So the important point is to, and this is what the IHA has really been doing, is to make it clear that hydro is not an environmental problem Hydro is the environmental answer. It is the way we make renewables reliable. And if we want to get to zero emissions by 2050, if we want to cut our emissions by half by 2030, which is the commitment of the G7, we are going to need a lot more hydro. And yes, it has to be sustainable and pump storage is going to be a very big part of it. But I think the San Jose Declaration on Sustainable Hydropower is going to provide the blueprint uh, for the new generation of hydropower, the construction and delivery of which is so critical if we are going to achieve the cut in emissions that we need and you know, keep global warming within tolerable constraints. If we keep putting greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, our climate will continue to warm. Fact, that's physics. You can't talk your way around it. And we are running out of time. And that means we need to act. Now, everyone is very excited with, by the fact that the cost per watt of uh, solar and wind is, keeps on coming down. And that's wonderful. And there are a whole lot of ways we can have cheaper and cheaper zero marginal cost generation. But we need the firming to make it reliable. And that's the role of hydro. And, that, and we need to get on with it in advance. Well, you know, it's a great saying that history is made by those who turn up. And if you're out of the room, you're out of the deal. Now, if you believe that hydropower, sustainable hydropower is absolutely critical to our meeting the challenge of global warming, of getting to net zero emissions, if you believe that, and I certainly do, and I think it's, it's, it's absolutely self-evident that hydro is going to play a bigger and bigger role, then we need to make sure it's sustainable. Uh, and the San Jose Declaration consultation process ensures that everyone can have their say. So I want to say to everyone who has an interest in getting to that net zero emission goal, has an interest in ensuring we don't endure uh, or suffer from dangerous levels of global heating, to have a look at the, uh, the, the you know, dra zero draft that's going to be published by the IHA and have your say. You, you know, this is this is not the International Hydropower Association's document. This is your document, and uh, the the more you can contribute to it, uh, the better it will be. Sustainable hydropower is absolutely critical to the energy transition. It's absolutely critical to achieving net zero emissions. We simply cannot do it without it. Uh, we need to make renewables reliable and hydropower is the answer.